Bruce Lee's Chicken Do footwork. Now, as Bruce Lee said, the art of successful hitting and punching is the art of correct distance judging. When I learned from Sifu Ted Wong, one of the things that he emphasized all the time is footwork, footwork, and footwork. He uses the analogy that, let's say imagine you are a powerful tank, you have all these weapons, but it's no good, the tank is no good if you can't move it, you can't mobilize it. And that's why he emphasizes, I think out of all the Bruce's original students, Ted Wong is the one that emphasizes footwork a lot. Bruce is so good with his footwork that he can close the gap from a guy like even six, seven feet away and he could, he could touch the guy and people can't block him. And that's a very, very powerful thing. Now with JKD, I believe the hardest thing to master is not the punching and kicking and everything else, it's actually the footwork. Even the stance, the basic steps, which I'm gonna show you today, that took me a couple years just to get used to it. Now, Bruce Lee's footwork in JKD, a lot of that comes from fencing because Bruce likes how fencing, the art of fencing, you can bridge the gap like very quickly with, with from distance to be able to bridge that distance. So a lot of work does come from fencing, but at the same time with fencing, because your weapon, you've got a weapon on your hand, we, our weapons are, are just empty hand, arms and legs. So you need to think about speed at the same time, how do you generate power? It's easy to say, but it's not easy to do. So look, look down my feet here. So today is one of those videos where you don't look at my face, it's gonna look at my, my foot, because I'm gonna show you the footwork and different types of footwork. Now with the JKD stance, I tape, I see the strict line here. Just to get this right, it takes, it told me almost just myself one year to learn this properly. So imagine the different stance, right? You can have like, you know, horse stance in, in Chinese Kung Fu, you have the Wing Chun stance. So JKD stance is like this. You can see my toes, it's not pointing this way. It's not pointing to the side, it's pointing like that almost like this, this, this angle, okay? And you can see the tape. And here, make sure you can see my foot here. You can see the back of my foot, it's like this. It's a trigger. It's like a handgun. This is, this is what gives us all the power and speed. So my back of the foot is not flat on the ground like that because that has mo no mobility. So this is always up like that. We move around, but I'll show you how to do that. But it's like this, okay? Just like that. Just like that. So let me show you the very first footwork in Jikun Do, and that's just a forward shovel. Very, very simple, just like this. So my back of the foot is not moving, a short forward shuffle like that. It's just like this. You can see? Now, with the speed, you can see it would be like, so if I just need a little bit, little bit of distance, I want to bridge the gap just a little bit the, the opponents in front of me are pretty close. All I need to do is just, there, I can reach the guy. Just to give me that extra distance to be able to hit. Now, the backward shovel, just like that. Just like that. I'm gonna show you from the back. You'll see. Just like that. See that? So sometimes, if there's an attack, all I need to do is just to to maybe make, to avoid a punch or something, I just do that. Transfer my weight, and then I can go forward again. Right. So it looks something like this. So I just back, and then can go forward again. Or I can go forward, and go backward again. Forward, and backward again. So forward shovel, so stay, it's the same, the back foot stays, same spot, there. There. And make sure this is aligned. Make sure, that's why it's good to tape it on the ground so you can self-correct yourself. Give it a try. You get that? Now the next set of footwork I'm gonna show you is the push step forward and push step backward. The only difference is, is a continuous movement from the last footwork. So look down my feet again. So we have the push step. So a push, but now this time, the back of your of your foot now move along. Right, kind of follows the front foot. So boom and boom. Now at first this would feel so unnatural. I get I get that. Because I've been there. 
boom, boom. Backward, same thing. This, foot, back foot move first, and then this moves. Now, you don't want to be off of balance because one of the mistakes a lot of people make, sometimes they would go forward and they would go like that. Or sometimes they would go, let's see how my, I'm off balance, right? That's not good. You want to be able to do this from natural position and boom, you're right there. Or from here, you're walking, right? You're walking, you're walking, boom, you're right there. You're, you're ready to go where to strike anytime. So, push step. This is a very critical step because when you bridge the gap, this is probably one of the most common footwork that we use. Back, forward. Your weight, some people might say, you know, it's like six, maybe like 60, 60 front, 40, uh, or like 50, 50. Myself, I think you need to experiment with it. It depends on where you are, what position. Sometimes you're moving forward, I might do a little more like 60 forward and 40 backward, but sometimes I'm putting it back. I might actually reverse that. So let me show you how it works. So push step, it should look something like this. And you can see how much distance. So I'm here, I'm gonna go to here, watch. Look at it. See that? Let me show you again. See how much distance I bridge from here? It's a push forward motion. Back, same thing. This goes from here, from here, one time, or sometimes you can go forward again. So that's push step forward and push step backward. Now I'm gonna have Shin just to try it and see and I'm gonna correct him so you can learn from that as well. Now this is the first time he's learning this, so which is perfect, because whatever questions he has, you probably have the same questions as well. So again, look at his footwork, we're just gonna do push step forward, so you can see. Very nice, you can see how, how that little bit off balance, right? So you wanna find your own balance. You wanna find the balance. Good. Yes. Good. Good. Now, at the same time, you don't want this to be too wide. So let me see the side, show on the side. You don't want this to be too wide. You don't want this to be too narrow. No, so then what is the correct distance? You gotta kind of, I would say it's about a, around your shoulder, about the length of your shoulder, width of shoulder, but just tiny little bit. So this is my shoulder, right? This is how, how wide I am. So this is fine. Just a little bit more. I find that to be the perfect, perfect distance, the kind of perfect, perfect, perfect way of doing this. But you gotta find what works for you, okay? Maybe a little bit, depends on your length and your length of your, of your legs and stuff like that but you gotta find that perfect. This is no good because you can't move. This, you're, you're, you're out of balance. You're gonna kind of find that kind of like a cat-like, tiger-like movement. You're always ready to go, ready to go, right? So Shane, try that again. Yes, good. And, and just do the first, and when you, when you make the step, try to find your balance, just stay there. Okay. This is how that feels. Okay. Uh, you see, tiny little bit off balance, tiny little bit, very micro, right? Watch very carefully. Yes, again. Yeah, see, little bit, when it comes to be too close, you can see that. So it should be the same. Yeah, that's better, that's better, yeah. That's good. Good, so that's the push step forward and that's the push step backward. Let me show you another footwork. Now obviously in fighting, you don't always go forward and backward. Sometimes there's something that's a punch and kick, a strike that's coming towards you. You kind of more move to the side. So how do you do that? You do it with a side step. You do it with side step. Now keep the same body posture, same footwork. The side step, you want to move to the right side. All you do, Look at look look at my look at more look, look look at my feet here. Just move the side. If you want to move back, same thing. This here and boom. So right. So doesn't matter how I move. So let's say I'm moving around. I'm moving around. If I want to do a side step, it should be see my distance between my foot, my lineman, still strict line going through. It's the same. That's when you know your footwork is decent, right? If I move this way, 
you want to go back, it should be the same. So you're moving to the side. Now, sometimes the way that the Ted Wong, when he taught me, sometimes you might move your body. So you can see my body movement from here. I might, instead of doing this, so you can see like that, sometimes you might, a, a punch is coming, you might move and you might do it that way. So it looks something like this. Do something like that. Or that side, from here, you do it like that. Okay, and the way you do it, you what generates speed, right? You can see, it's very, very fluid motion. So it's not like a, like that. It's very, very fluid. When you're moving around, at first, it feels unnatural, but when you, when you get used to it, you can, you, can, you can move around. It's actually pretty, pretty simple stuff, right? Simple movement, but not easy to do. So side, side, side step, and side step. Now, the next step I'm gonna show you is the pivot step. Now this may be so also sometimes a grapple is coming towards you. Of course, obviously, if you move to the back, you're gonna, you're gonna get tackled. You're, gonna, you're going on the ground. Side step sometimes is okay, but a very, a very effective thing to do is a pivot step. So the difference between a side step, we go to the side, obviously. A pivot, think of this as a center. A pivot, I'm making an angle like that. Okay, so I pivot this way, which is my right, or I can pivot to the left. Again, pivot to the right, or again, pivot to the left. So it's kind of like the side step, but you're making an angle. Sometimes you can also do it going towards the opponent. See how I've also earned some distance there from here, right there, or from here, that's a pivot step. So with the pivot step, if he grabs me, if I go just to the back, he grabbed my legs, see? Now, he got me right there. But if I want to use, depends on where I am, but he comes, right? See, that's a pivot, right? That's where I do my stuff. Or maybe he grabs more this way, he grabs, see? Right there, that's where I can strike. So that's a pivot, or that's a pivot. Not moving backward. Now if I move to the side, watch, grab my leg again. See, if I move to the side, he got me, because my distance has not changed. I'm still the same way, now I'm actually off balance, right? But if he grabs me a little bit faster, you can see, right? So if he grabs me a little bit faster, you can see, right there. That's how I move out of the way. So that's the pivot step. Now sometimes, although JKD we lead with your front foot, your, your lead leg, your lead kick, but sometimes you gotta just be flexible enough that hey, you know what, you get out of the way. We do that using the quick shift. And that's a quickly, quick shift, a quickly shift your weight and you shift the side of your foot like that. Now we, we don't do it this way, okay? In JKD we do not, because this way, we think it's a bit too slow. So the motion is a little bit more like, like a curve. I'm doing slow motion, so you can see it. So from here, it's like that. And also you're trying to protect, right? Center line, and you're cutting this way. So it looks something like this, right? Watch. So it looks something like this, just like that. Watch, from here, one more time, right there. So just shifting, quickly shift your weight right there. So that's the quick shift. One more time. And then we have the burst. The burst is the footwork that covers the longest distance. So it's kind of combining different, different footwork together. It's quite difficult. It's probably one of the more, more advanced footwork. It takes a lot of time to practice and to master it well. So think about you're doing your push forward step, kind of like a shuffle right there. And you're doing your pendulum step. And then you might do a kick or even a punch. Usually it's a kick. So it will be like this. 
look how far distance I cover. So from, look, from here, so I'm doing a step, from here, I'm here. It covers that much distance, right? Bruce can cover someone in five, six feet. Us, mere mortals, maybe three, four feet, right? From here, look, boom, boom, boom. Now, one way, one very good way you can practice, let me just show it to you real quick. Just look at my feet. Yeah, let's pretend you're doing the side kick to the, to the shin. Very good way, just do one, two, and three. Imagine you're throwing a side kick. Don't throw the kick, just stay here. So it looks something like this. So from here, from here, here, here. Right, so look, just stay right there. I'm breaking down the motion, just practicing partial motion from here, just like that. So don't throw the kick, just from here, and just like that, right? Last but not least, we have the pendulum step, which is a signature footwork in Jeet Kune Do. So, Think of it like a, almost like a, exactly like a clock, like a pendulum. You're doing it like this. So one foot replaces the other. That's the momentum. One foot replaces the other. Okay. This is a very sneaky footwork because you're trying to hide your intent. So your opponent might think you are still staying in the same spot, but the, the, because the pendulum step, you've, you're hiding your intent of to attack, to cover the distance. So they don't really see. So in JKD, we don't kick like, example, like high tie boxing. Obviously it's very powerful, but they might do that kind of kick, right? They do that kind of stuff. But JKD, we like to hide it, and then we do our stuff, whatever kick we want to do. So from here, pendulum step, forward. So you move your back foot forward, forward first, not unlike the push shovel. Right there, see that? Now, your body, your, your body weight, your center of gravity, you don't want to come in here and you're too high. You don't want to do that. You don't want to come here, you're too low. So kind of keep it level there, right from here, boom, boom. Try again, from here, boom, boom. Or the other way, backward. Try again. Boom, boom. So you can practice in front of the mirror. Make sure you don't come in here. You, should, you don't come in there. It's here. So you try to hide it behind your front foot. Right there. And it will look something like this. If you're going back, someone attacks. Again, someone attacks, this is psychic. Right, like that. Or you're moving forward. See this? Right there. Just like that. Or, another thing that you can do is you're doing the pendulum step, but with a kick. So it will look, you, when you're practicing, again, break into smaller movement, your two or three parts. Pendulum step, just lift your knee, okay? Pendulum step, just lift your knee. Right there, so you're from here, half motion, pendulum step, that's it. One time, pendulum step, just like that. And you do your thing. And just step, or and just step side kick. Half motion. So from here, four shuffle, and just step. Right there, right, your stuff is here. One more time, from here, right there. That's right there, it's a pendulum step. Difference is side kick. So those are the basic footworks and also advanced footworks from JKD. Watch this multiple times. We've covered a lot during this video, the different types of footwork. You have to practice it quite a few times. Tape a line. You can also tape a line this way at home so you can practice. You want to get to a point where it's very, very natural. At first, all these movements, they are very unnatural movements. So practice it many, many times until it becomes like walking. 
and you should be able to do it from anywhere, from anywhere you're moving, right? That's how you do it. So practice it well, practice often, wear good shoes, don't step on anybody's toes. Subscribe below if you enjoyed this video, turn on the notification. If you want to check out my other JKD videos on how to do punching, kicking, make sure you check out the videos on the left. If you enjoyed this video, share with a friend. If you have any questions, comment below. I'll see you in the next video. Be water, my friend. Be water, my friend.